guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Oh man, everything is just going so well. I'm having a great day, guys. I hope you are too. We're getting videos out every day where cool things are happening in the car community. Most people in the supercar community are getting along, which is a really nice thing to hear. I don't know, just a happy day overall. But before we start, guys, I have kind of a challenge for all of you guys. First, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and if you like supercar community news sort of up to the minute, we get most of the information before the channel can even get it out themselves to a certain degree. But second, this is what I need you guys' help with. I want a name for like the LP squad. You know, Daily Driven Exotics has DDE fam. I want something similar to that. So if you have any fun ideas, only fun ideas, in the comment section, whatever gets the most likes today, I'll make sure to favorite it and pin the comments so that can be sort of the name from now on. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think would be a good name for like, I guess like the LP squad, something similar to that. Or maybe that's it, I don't know. All right guys, into our main news. So sweet mother of God, I have never gotten so many messages on a particular Instagram post than I did yesterday. I think a lot of you probably already know what I'm talking about. Um, Daily Driven Exotics uh, has for a long time now, a couple weeks, has been teasing the replacement for Dave's wrecked Lamborghini Gallardo. If you didn't know about that, I don't know what you've been doing lately, uh, living under a rock or something like that. Dave's Lamborghini Gallardo got wrecked about a month or so ago. Uh, very, very sad thing. He was super excited to get it. He's been on the lookout for a new car ever since then. Uh, and, and buying a super car is not something you do really, really quickly. It's something you take time with. They've been very aware of that sort of process as they sort of clue us into what it might be. So before we get to the post from yesterday, uh, let me give you guys a little clue about what we've seen so far and the different cars that have supposedly been teased. I can't even tell you. I've probably gotten 500 total messages uh, about what Dave's new potential replacement is going to be. Everything from a, a fake Daily Driven Exotics Facebook page uh, posting a Viper uh, that was apparently Dave's new car. I got about 80 messages on that. We've seen stuff on the Huracan. We've seen stuff on another Gallardo. We just, we've seen just about every possible car thrown out there either by people that think they've seen it somewhere or, you know, by Daily Driven Exotics sort of teasing it in some of their videos. Yesterday was by far the craziest day of all of these days so far uh, when Daily Driven Exotics posted a simple Instagram story that had a blacked out car and just said, you know, Dave's new car is on the way. Now that would be a fun post by itself, but, uh, but obviously uh, just about 200 people and I, I tried to get to most people, but I, I have like 83 or 84 messages that I still have that I haven't even been able to touch yet because there have been so many messages about it. A lot of people noticed that in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, in very, very tiny white lettering, uh, we can see the word Urus, like Lamborghini Urus. And like the, the black outline of the car appears to be, I mean, it could be the shape of an Urus too. So obviously this might be either the greatest marketing thing ever or the greatest troll ever from Daily Driven Exotics about what day his new car could be. Now, I, now, my own personal opinion, I really don't know. It's very difficult to say what Daily Drone Exotics is actually going to get. There's so many cool cars that they could be replacing. Are they going to give him a Huracan or another Gallardo? Uh, an Urus would be a pretty extreme thing. If they're actually getting an Urus for Dave, that would be absolute chaos. I can't even imagine what they would do with that on the channel. I think an Urus is like a 20% at this point, but you, you never know. You never know. But what do you guys think in the comments? Obviously, a lot of you saw the tiny lettering of the Urus maybe Daily Driven Exotics is going to start to drop other fun clues in a lot of their Instagram stories for sort of the internet sleuths to go after. It was a very cool moment, though. I got bombarded with messages right after it happened, though. Kind of a fun thing when everybody sends me tips. So thank you, everyone, that sent me that. It was a really fun topic for us to be able to talk about. I think a lot of us are just so excited to see what Dave is going to get. And I, you know, I know Dave. Dave is a really cool guy. I'm so pumped for him to get his new supercar, whatever it happens to be. And I'm sure he's not going to get a car that he's not going to enjoy. Joy. Double negative there. So I guess an early congratulations to Dave. I'm sure we'll see the reveal sometime in the next week or so. Uh, pretty pumped about it. But what do you guys think? Do you think he actually got an Urus or is Daily Driven Exotics having a little bit of fun with us? Put in the comments below. All right, guys, our next couple of stories are sort of like a hodgepodge from the rest of automotive YouTube, starting with the Straight Pipes channel uh, reviewing the 2019 Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo. Uh, kind of like the wagony version of the Panamera. And I think it looks absolutely stunning. If you guys have never checked out the Straight Pipes channel before, you're really missing out. They do a really good job of reviewing cars with sort of a little bit of humor and they're both very likable personalities. So if you haven't checked that out and you want to know more about the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo, 
make sure to go check out their channel. Link is in the description below. And yes, Tanner Fox back in the mix. And uh, Tanner Fox actually has an entire car, sort of car vlog uh, with Daily Driven Exotics, talking about potentially getting a twin turbo Huracan to add to the Guaxzilla as well. Uh, kind of a cool thing. Uh, I really like when Tanner Fox does automotive YouTube. He's doing a great job. He comes at it in a really good way. It's really fun content. Obviously featuring Daily Driven Exotics in his videos is a really great way to get more immersed in that car culture. And the videos do really well for him. There's some of his bigger videos that he's been doing on his channel. So well done, Tanner Fox, man. Keep bringing it. And Hoobie's Garage is bringing us everything wrong with the 1966 Imperial Crown Convertible by Chrysler, I think it was. Uh, make sure to go check out this video. It's sort of how he does his videos now. He buys the car, he shows everything wrong with it, he shows even more stuff wrong with it, and then he fixes stuff eventually. Uh, Hoobie's Garage is one of the better, sort of the original sort of rebuild channels in that sort of way that he does it. Uh, it's a really fun video, and it's a pretty crazy car too. Check it out. And Stradman is back in the mix with a, a cool video on letting a 16-year-old take his driver's test in the Lamborghini Aventador. Kind of a crazy video. Obviously, it's a play off of the Bugatti Chiron DMV video that he did a while ago that got, I don't even know how many millions of hits. Maybe it'll get covered by some different automotive publications and give them a crazy number of subs. Could be cool. And that's going to do it for today, guys. I guess, I, should I give another hint about what my car is? Um, it's not a four-door. It's not a four-door and it's not an SUV. So that's that's about all I can get. So I think America was the first day. Extremely loud was the second day. Uh, I guess the third clue I'm gonna get, give is gonna be, have to be it's not an SUV and it's only got two doors. That should narrow down what car this could potentially be quite a bit. But pay attention guys, we're gonna be having an absolutely sick reveal. I think you guys are really gonna like it. We're gonna, we're gonna do all the cinematic stuff that we sort of used to do on our vlog and uh, put it into something pretty cool. So make sure to check out next week guys when we do the reveal of my new daily driver, which is. Uh, it's an extreme car for sure. Anyway, have a great day guys. Have a great, it's Friday today. Yes, have a great Friday. Have a great weekend and yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same-ish place. Yeah, bye.